All right, this is a follow-up to the speculation video I did like a week ago about like where the bond points uh, were gonna be, like where when you'd get seven points. Uh, I updated it for the official numbers. I was only off by a little bit and I put more time into like actually highlighting where you, like based on what you want, where you need to stop, uh, both summoning and bond point. So lightly went over all this stuff in the last video, but quick refresher. Here is the table with all the appends, 300 coins for a 120 and each append is 127 coins. So a pen and uh, one append and 120 is 420, uh, four appends is 480, uh, all coins 900 at, after 900 are done right now. We still don't know. Um, so I just decided to highlight points at breakpoints I thought were important for like most people like obviously like if you keep summoning like go beyond like seven copies for a five star uh ten copies for a four star limited like you're eventually gonna be able to max out the character like, you're not gonna have to go to bond 15 but the point of this is do you need to summon for another character do you need to spend money or can you just wait over the course of like a year or something if you really want the append? Uh, that's what this is for. Like if you want to save money uh, and just unlock this stuff while you play the game, uh, just this will be linked in the description. So if you want to just look at it yourself, uh, I had to blow up the text just so people could see it easier because usually this is like default 10. Uh, all right. So I'm just going to say where I'm going to stop. And it's mostly going to be relying here in bond 10 for most bond farming. Uh, this is specifically, uh, this part is specifically for not beyond bond 11. Like you hit bond 10. Uh, what do you unlock? Like what, do you, where do you need to stop? So MP one, if you do not plan on taking the servant, uh, into the bond levels beyond 10 just stop at six uh the game itself wants you to actually get to six or or ten it's it's six or ten uh ten being the bond ce but the game itself rewards you for getting characters to bond six like the, you actually get same courts and i believe other rewards for every five characters that you get bonded past six or two six so Bond six is like the must for pretty much every MP, uh, regardless of like even MP six or seven, you'd still want to get to bond six. Not only because I believe this, is, it is a break point MP seven bond six is you would get, you can one twenty and get three appends. Oh, yeah, that should be Mark. I didn't feel like marking this row because like at, at this point, it's like you just spend more money. Like if you're willing to go to MP7, like you're you're willing to spend money. All right. Uh, yeah. So that's MP1. MP2. There is a break point at Bond 10, but it is to strictly just 120 the unit. Uh, I person, especially for Bond 2, I don't think you should be going for a 120. Uh, be before like getting into like bond 11 plus uh i think for bond for mp2s like if you want to go for a 120 at least unlock one append uh after that it's your choice but yeah the, the real actual break point i would say is bond eight unlock two appends and then you're good to go probably mana loading and skill loading or your choice however you are but these are the extra uh break points at bond 15 a mp2 unit mp2 five star is able to unlock all all of their appends but again some servants have useless appends berserkers for instance if they're not fighting the class or for every other class if they're not fighting the specific class that they have uh an append advantage on like you kind of don't need that on a pen unlock oh Uh, MP3, 
like at pawn six you're immediately able to 120 but again i wouldn't recommend it uh 360 and you'll be able to unlock three of pens uh this is new from like this is completely new like uh i don't think mp3s were actually able to unlock it yeah no they stopped short by 10. so before you actually needed to go into bond 11 in order to unlock this pen uh now you just don't have to you just stop at nine uh yeah so for your higher bond copies like or mp copies like this is a good thing like you do not have to go start using bond grails for them uh my charlemagne is gonna be like this uh so is my space rush and cl uh I haven't been using Charlie for a while, uh, and that was part of the reason. I'm glad I was using him for the Storm Pods, or Storm Pod uh, plus Teapots, because I think now he's at he was at like Bond 5 before that, and now he's at like Bond 7 or close to 8. Uh, yep, moving down to MP4, uh, Bond 8, you will be able to 120 and unlock and append, but a lot of breakpoints in these bond levels though a lot of breakpoints but by bond four that's really if you're mp4 more likely than not you probably are going into the bond level like the higher bond levels just because you like the servant that much uh mp5 this is where i think a good amount of people right now should stop uh because right here you are 30 coins off being able to 120 and unlock all the pens i think in the future they will because they already did this for um when they first made the announcement for the appends they said if you during the space arrest banner someone for like mp7 plus because of what we said before the announcement we will give you neutral serving coins that you can use uh on a different character they already have the system in place so i believe eventually we'll be able to farm servant coins like this i would not recommend summoning for mp6 if there's a chance of that being possible because then you have wasted uh serving coins although i mean in the long run like no no we're talking about like going i'm using worst case scenario that you have to actually go for pity uh are you really going to spend 900 quarts to unlock another append or you have the maybe not the append but the 120 yeah probably the, the append we'll say the append uh are you really gonna spend 90 quarts unlocking the append or are you 900 or are you just gonna wait yeah sorry for the brain fort there but yeah i didn't bother doing seven because because like i said if you're willing to go this far money probably isn't an issue for you so you probably don't even have to listen to me honestly um burn minutes i chose not to really do this the reason being is for the most part permanence you can leave at six because you're probably going to get more copies of them i know not everyone summons for everything in the game that's why i'm leaving this chart up uh and linking in the descri description uh so if people want to see the breakpoint they can but I don't see the point in bond farming up to nine. Like you spend two months doing it and then you summon on a banner and get spooked and all that progress for the serving coins, you could have just been doing a different unit. While limiteds, it's not the same thing. You're not likely to actually get another copy of them. You're like, it's probably better to just get them to whatever on level, like, if you, bond six is a good oh shoot ruin all the data bond six is just a good stopping point for permanence unless 
you really need to unlock the repent like for Zenobia say or a farmer say you need you really want to do their farming uh there is a different there are different breakpoints now for the new permanent for permanence uh this is a big one like you're able to actually unlock an append before going into the bond levels well before that was definitely not possible you would have had to go to 11 for it so if you want to make that your stopping point go ahead i don't i wouldn't blame you but you shouldn't be trying to go that far right like you could be working on another limited or uh a five star if you only cared about unlocking the pens these are as like especially we're talking about an mp1 permanent permanent uh if you're not getting extra copies like they're not going to be doing that well in farming to begin with unless it's a support like lena then i understand going for 120 or going for bond 90 to unlock her append but yeah like per for permanence it kind of is just get more copies it is not that way with uh limiteds though so again like i um like i did for the five stars we're gonna stick mostly here for breakpoints and not go over here and hmm yeah, no, we're gonna keep going. All right, so change with the limiteds. Uh, uh, bond eight, you're able to unlock an append, so that's one down from the permanent four stars. Uh, before you were not able to do it, just like the perm. Oh wait. Okay, yeah. Before it wasn't po it was possible. You had to go to bond ten though, so they dropped it down by two whole bond levels. Uh, bond two. The reason nothing is marked here is because you were always able to unlock two appends at bond four, four. Uh, and most people would have just stopped at five because most interludes, uh want you to be at bond five for your characters so if you have mb2 there's not really a point in you farming that much unless you plan on like really bringing them up but i probably wouldn't just stick to one append and then you're good for pretty much the rest of it bond three you stop at bond nine and then you can lock two appends uh this did not change from previous before it was also uh bond seven you would unlock an append uh yeah before now you just have a little more coins what well, it it's not a big change uh mp5 at 300 you can 120 and yeah like uh, and then after that it just goes into do you have more copies so be like i would definitely look this side of the table uh decide what breakpoints you need you want to set for yourself uh if you on level like this uh, i pretty much only use six support c's if i can get away with it to, to cut down on time and hit these points uh again this is only for jp right now although na this is gonna come eventually so if you want to start setting it up like this you can but and it, na you kind of have to be aware like you can't right now you can't just stop here and like get your pen you're gonna have to wait until the system change so if you want to go if you still want to follow like the old guidelines for bond point farming uh until they announce it i that's honestly what i would do is 
if you if you're farming for a pens to use for like lotteries you can't just stop now and wait two years you're not going to be able to use them in the lottery or raid or story whatever you're doing you're not you're are you gonna wait two years for it or are you gonna keep playing that's again that's your choice all right uh this was a nothing kind of nothing burger video but uh explanation for if i bring this up on stream really all right i'll see you guys in the next one peace so as a little added tldr um because i did ramble a lot in this video here are the bond levels that i think you should be hitting oh sorry i think you should be hitting based on a pens uh 120s and just like basing my own thoughts of on it so these are based on breakpoints, not necessarily whether or not uh, I think they should go for 120. It's like more what's most convenient. Um, so bond six, eight, nine, and plus, and six or nine. The six or nine is because you get four pens here, and then you get 120 and two of pens. So I gave like a decent stopping points. Uh, for permanence, I said like just get bond six, and that's it. You all unlock a pens based on how many copies you get. Uh, as you can see, it goes on for a very long time before you're actually done. But going to bond 15 for a permanent, again, if you get spooked by them, you like ha half of a bond level in coins in the upper ends. So like these take months to do. So that's why I'm saying like get spooked. Like it's probably easier to get spooked uh and save yourself time and work on another character that you can't get spooked on and then for limiteds uh mp1 bond 8 mp2 bond 5 uh mp3 bond 9 mp4 bond 7 mp5 bond 10 uh because i don't think 120ing at uh with no pens is a good idea um and then after that it's kind of just your choice all right uh, gonna start streaming soon. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.